Welcome back to another edition of DT Daily. I'm Tim Becker. Coming up today, unlocking your cell phone will soon become illegal. Internet activists demand Skype open up about user data privacy. Sony is fined for PlayStation hack. Anonymous hacktivists are sentenced for Operation Payback. A French court orders Twitter to give up racist users. And Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak has a thing or two to say about the new Jobs film. If you're planning to unlock your new smartphone, you had better get it done before tomorrow, January 26th. The Librarian of Congress, which periodically identifies new exemptions to the anti-hacking law, decided back in October that the unauthorized unlocking of phones will no longer be permitted, as it has been for years, basing the new rule on the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Concerned consumers have launched a White House petition to overturn the decision, but for now, the rule will remain in place. In an open letter to Skype and its parent company, Microsoft, online activists, including Reporters Without Borders and the Electronic Frontier Foundation, are demanding that the company publish a biannual transparency report indicating what kinds of communications and data the company collects and who has access to that data. The letter points out that Google, Twitter, and other sites regularly publish such a report and comes in response to evidence that Skype calls are being intercepted. Microsoft representatives said the company is still reviewing the letter. You may remember the cyber attack that compromised the personal information of millions of PlayStation customers in April of 2011. Well now, Sony is being fined a record 250,000 pounds, or about $400,000, for the breach by the Information Commissioner's Office. Britain's data watchdog. The ICO indicated that the attack could have been prevented had Sony software been up to date. Sony has since rebuilt its network platform to ensure that user data is protected. However, Sony is appealing the ruling, saying that the hack did not result in any user's data being used for fraudulent purposes. Two of the British hackers convicted of denial of service attacks on PayPal, Visa and MasterCard's websites in support of WikiLeaks have received sentences of 18 months and seven months in prison. The DDoS attacks were known as Operation Payback, a response to the payment companies refusing to process donations to the activist site WikiLeaks. A French court has ordered Twitter to give up details on the users behind a flurry of anti-Semitic tweets. Twitter, which is based here in the United States and stores all of its data right here, has previously maintained that it is subject only to U.S. court rulings. The French court has given the company two weeks to comply, and a Twitter spokesman has indicated that it has yet to make a decision about appealing that ruling. Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak is not impressed with the new film Jobs, starring Ashton Kutcher as Steve Jobs. After watching a 60-second clip made available prior to the world premiere of the film later today at the Sundance Film Festival, Wozniak stated that the depiction is totally wrong. He remarked that the scene described in the clip never happened, and that Jobs and Wozniak never behaved in the way shown in the film. That does it for DT Daily this week. Whether you already have access to Facebook graph search and want to see what it can do, or are still eagerly awaiting access, check back later today for our hands-on with the social network's game-changing new search feature.